Hey YouTube, this is Fireworks of 23. I'm going to take this video to show off kind of a cool game that I don't think has really ever gotten a lot of attention. Uh, this is Witch Haven for DOS. It came out about the time that the Doom games came out. It's kind of a first person shooter, though there isn't really any guns. Instead, you have magic and weapons. So, let me show off here. And we can affect blood and gore and difficulty. Blood and gore affects how much how gory the game is. I'll set that to the goriest. And difficulty we have easy, medium, hard, and insane. I'll keep that on medium. And let's get this started. So we start off with just a dagger that we can stab with. We can also just retreat to our fists using the numeric keys. Uh, we don't have any experience points for level one. We also have a variety of spells at our disposal, but we don't actually have any right now. But they are scare. Night Vision, Freeze, Magic Arrow, Open Door, Fly, and Fireball. Now, there's actually another spell called Nuke, which is F8, but that actually affects Cam Studio, so I'm not going to hit that button, because I just figured that out five recordings later. Also, potions down here we can get. We have 100 hit points and no armor. I'll hold Shift to run. We can't open this door with a space bar. You can open doors with a space bar, but we can't open that one. Space runs, otherwise you just walk. X jumps. C crouches, alt strafes, page up and page down like like you look up and down, but it's reversed like a helicopter. Let's go. Oh, what's going on over here? Whoa! We got red and green goblins, and they don't like each other. Now they're coming for us. Slicer guts out. By the way, the difficulty setting also affects how hard the monsters actually are. And they're dropping short swords, so we're going to take one. Ugh. By the way, I know the layout of this first level so well because i played it so many times, but right down there is a secret area with some hidden goodies, but I don't have a resist fire potion. Let's see if I can remember what the potions are. There's healing, fire resistance, invisibility, cure poison, and strength. Let's open and go through here. Goblin. Slice him down. Weapons can actually get broken in this game. Oop, run some water. Yeah, weapons can wear down in this game, so you sometimes have to get some new ones. Ugh. And there's a mace! Let's go behind the waterfall, because there's some leather armor! Also, when you become significantly experienced, you can actually dual wield weapons, and that's awesome. Let's open this door. Ooh, monsters! Oh, there's a third one. Let's break these crates. We found a cure poison potion. Right over there is a health potion. Let's drink it. Hit the enter key. Uh, use your, what do you call them, the bracket buttons. Go left and right in this menu. Hit enter. And you drink the potion. Restore us 25 HP. Let's go in this door. As for the plot of this game, folks, I actually really don't remember, and it actually really isn't that important for playing the game. Uh, ultimately, at the very final level, which I actually have gotten to, you have to fight and defeat this witch as well as all of her minions. Ugh. Here. There's a skeleton. Got him. Grab the health potion. And there is an adamanti ring. Now, folks, if you look down here... Oh, 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 wait, careful. Folks, there are spikes down there, so you know what? I'm not going to risk that potion, because it's actually a pretty scary death sequence. It shows your heart being impaled by a spear. Ugh. But I happen to know that right here, there's a secret passage. That's for you, H.C. Bailey. Oh, we head down these stairs here.
with spikes that you can get impaled on. You can get impaled on those spikes, so be careful. But if we crouch down right here, we can go through here. There are some items. Another potion, which I'll drink. A shield, and a night vision scroll. Oh, there's a pit. I'm gonna, I know there's items there, but I'm going to avoid the pit. No, I'm actually going to go back. You can take this as kind of a shortcut for the entire level, but I'm going to skip it for right now because I want to show you most of this level. Okay, we're back here. By the way, you can smash these pots, but there's nothing in them. <laughs> that is a strength potion, by the way. But I just want to avoid that, um... Spikes. Hit the space bar. Let's take the elevator down. Got the whole shield thing going on. Let's see, what kind of weapons are there? There's, let's see, the dagger, the short sword, the mace, the broadsword, the uh, battle axe, the bow, the pike axe, the halberd, and... I think it's like a magic sword. Grab these, that passage opens, but also that opens revealing him. Got him. And we get a, a night vision scroll. Let's open this path. Ugh. Goblins. Yeah. Yeah. Grab the night vision scroll. Open the chest. There's a resist fire potion in the chest. And we get yet another potion and a resist fire potion. There are items out in that lava, and... Well, you know what? We do have a, a resist fire potion. What am I doing? Some armor. Oh, this is where that pit was taking us before. I'm gonna drink another resist fire potion just so we don't burn up. Uh, you will take damage like nobody's business if you don't have a resist fire potion active with when you're in fire. It's also good with monsters who, um... Uh, shoot fire. It's also a very good potion. Let's open this panel. Ugh, more goblins! Ugh, my morning star is damaged. Might have to retreat back to the short sword in a minute. Grab more leather armor. You can affect the bright. Whoop. You can affect the size of the screen by the plus and minus keys. How do you affect the brightness of the screen? I forgot. There's a little panel here. Those were that path would have taken us before. I'm going to activate resist fire because there's a creature shooting fire in here. And that wall monster is shooting fire, but I'm going to grab this pentagram, which is an item we do need. So that's the whole point of these areas is you got to find a pentagram. Can I get to the end of the level before time elapses? Drink a health potion. Ugh. Die, all of you. Ugh. Open the creepy gate. Folks, our destination is the other side of this. Can I do it without getting burned up by the demon that's in here? Yep. Oh, run! I'm getting shot at by fire! There's a monster in there that shoots fire. It's kind of tough. And folks, when you have the pentagram, you step in here. And you're transported to the next level. I seem to remember there being like 27 or so levels. I don't remember. But that's pretty much how this game works. You go around, you gotta find the pentagram, and get out. There are keys in the later levels. I believe this is the first level to actually contain keys, and this game is pretty fun. I've always really enjoyed it. So, um, I believe you can probably find this at an abandoned, any abandoned ware site for DOS games. Um, check it out. You know, get it on DOSBox and check it out. So, until next time, this is Firewizard23, and as they say on Quillen, have the best day ever. <laughs>